What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, and welcome back to Gearbox. So today, obviously, we are back with the 2019 F-150. Let's just go ahead and do a quick walk around. Um, so at this point, if, you know, if you're not up to speed, we have the taillights here. We have the Gator Tri-Fold uh, tonneau cover. We still need to get this shit figured out. We have 10% tint. And then we have the LED headlights. So uh, pretty good spot right now with it. Obviously want to do a lot more with the truck. Uh, but today kind of piggybacking off of my video, I believe not last week, but the week before, we talked about five things I love about my 2019 F-150 XLT. And that is all fine and dandy, but unfortunately, no vehicle is perfect, so obviously today, by the title of this video, we are going to talk about five things that I hate about my 2019 Ford F-150 XLT, and we will get right to it. So the number one thing that I really just don't like and don't understand, and let's get interrupted by a decathlon taking off right there, the number one thing that annoys the piss out of me about this truck, and a lot of these are going to have to do with trim levels, so just kind of bear with me a little bit, but the fact that this does not have a trailer hitch, it has this bullshit little, oh, put a trailer hitch in there that might be able to hold 20 pounds on the bumper. Um, I get it. It's a tow package. You can get the tow package from factory. I bought this truck used. so. Once again, it's not anything wrong with the truck per se, it's just the spec that it was bought as originally, but it's a truck. Put a damn trailer hitch on it. It's not difficult. Am I gonna be towing a bunch, you know, consistently? No, but what I want is the ability to tow if need be. I want to ride around with the trailer hitch on at all times. Um, I am gonna get a tow package, which I believe just goes somewhere and, you know, you're good to go, but it's just annoying. It's, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why any company, any, you know, manufacturer would manufacture a truck, especially of this size, you know, this isn't like a tiny ass truck. It's a big, capable truck. I don't know why anyone would manufacture a truck without a trailer hitch, especially with the towing capacity that it has, but regardless, it doesn't have a hitch, and hence that is my number one gripe about the truck. So for the number two thing I hate about my 2019 F-150, obviously we are in the cab of the truck. Number two on the list here is going to be this damn button right here. Uh, for those who are unaware, this is the uh, automatic stop start button to, you know, either turn it on or turn it off. Um, and if you're unaware of what that is, if you turn this off and, you know, you're at a stoplight or something, it will turn the truck off and then it will turn it back on the second, you know, you hit the gas or something. I get why they do it it's emissions that's how everything is nowadays but for the love of god i am not driving a truck to be eco-friendly i don't think there are many people that are driving a truck to be eco-friendly and if they are they can go out and pay for the rivian or a hybrid of some sort don't i just i hate the auto stop start button every time i get in this truck every time i turn it on i have to hit off and it just really irritates me. And you might be saying, well, John, you can just pull a fuse. And you're right, I can. Um, I just haven't looked into what fuse I need to pull. So um, it's just annoying as hell. You shouldn't have to pull a fuse on a truck or a car to get rid of something from factory. Like, I just think it's stupid. Um, and it's not even like you have an option when you're specking out your truck to buy it new. It's not like you have an option to get rid of it. It's mandated. And that's just annoying. Um, I don't like it. It's one of the most annoying things. And 
really it's annoying because I have to deal with it every single time I start the truck and I drive the truck it's annoying as hell I wish I could just duct tape it down you know all the way and just get rid of it completely um, unfortunately I can't um, so we'll just have to live with it but that is going to be number two back outside for the number three thing that I hate about my 2019 f-150 and it is going to be this little thing right here the key fob uh, once again I understand this is a trim level thing but I get it so don't no need to roast my ass in the comments but this key fob although it might look like it is one of those like keyless entry and push to start no it's this little shit and then it doesn't have you know it's unlock lock and the alarm what's annoying about that key fob is that it doesn't have a remote start button on the actual key fob but if i go into my ford app on my phone i can actually click remote start so when i wake up in the morning and i you know i'm getting dressed for work and it's cold outside and i want to warm up the truck i need to go into my phone and click remote start and it'll start it up just fine but on other uh, F-150 models, it has a remote start button on the key fob. So why, why don't I have a remote start button on the key fob? I don't know. Um, it's just annoying as hell. And then obviously, you know, you go into the truck and you want to sit down and get going. Well, then you have to go ahead and do this number. We're going to flip it and then we're going to turn it in here and start it and then oh yeah by the way make sure you click that button it's just it's a first world problem but i really don't understand how this truck has the capability for remote start but the remote the key fob cannot start it it's only through the app doesn't make sense whatever once again first world problems but something that does annoy the shit out of me about this particular truck I just don't get it and physical key fob I mean it's a truck it's you know give me a keyless entry give me a push to start I don't know why we still have ignition cylinders in an automatic truck doesn't make sense on to the number four thing that I hate about this truck this beautiful truck right behind me is going to take us into the back of the cab um, now, as we've talked about, please don't mind the random cookies sitting there. My fiance and I had our dessert tasting and they're in there and I need to take them out. Anyway, um, I know I've shown this before. Actually, let me try to do this like this. You know, you can fold up both of these seats and we'll go over to the other side of the truck and we'll fold this one up and it's great. Um, having all of this extra cargo room is awesome. Um, it obviously helps when you're trying to put big boxes in here and you don't want to throw it in the bed of the truck or whatever. And then you fold them down and that's fine. Now what this seat also has is the ability to fold down like this. Just fun fact, this is where your jack and everything is. But you notice the tab is right here on that side. I do not, for the life of me, understand why you can fold down that seat, but there's no tab here. You can't fold the seat down. Well, you can, but you have to shove your hand back here, and it might as well just not fold down. I mean, it shouldn't even have the ability because it's not even accessible to fold down. Now. I will say this, nine times out of 10, if you are going to fold these back seats, you're gonna flip them up. But if you have the ability to fold down one seat, why not give that ability to, other, to the other two damn seats? It makes no sense. Um, I was trying to figure out, I'm like, maybe there's a pool tab underneath or something. No, it's this random ass little latch. And it, I don't know, it, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. It's stupid. Do, will I ever really use it? Probably not. Like if the functionality was there, would I use it? Probably not. 
but having the ability to do it is also nice. But anyway, I digress. That is number four. And let's move on to the fifth and final point. So once again, for the fifth point, we are back in the cabin of the truck. For the fifth point on the five things I hate about this truck is going to be the center gauge cluster screen. Um, it is possibly the least intuitive thing out there. So, you know, you go to the main menu and you have, you know, trip one, trip two, fuel economy, driver assist, settings, whatever. Um, so let's go into fuel economy. Well, then you just have these two random arrows right here and you start going through it and then it switches the like format. You go into driver assist and, you know, you have this random stuff, but like it just, it doesn't really make sense to me, guys. I, I'll sit here and like the most functional thing on this damn tiny little LCD screen is the damn tire pressure. Um, and do I want to look at tire pressure all the time? No, I really don't care to. It's nice to have. Um, but then, you know, you just go in here and it just, it doesn't make sense. It, I don't know why. Um, it just annoys me. And there's really not a whole lot of like actual useful information in here. Um, one thing I wish they had was a, a digital speedo. I mean, if you're going to have a screen and have it right there, you know, front and center, have a speedometer, but it, it doesn't. So now we're stuck with a screen that I usually keep on fuel economy just for shits and giggles because that's really the only functional thing I guess I can see. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I know on some of the higher trim levels, they have a, a screen in there that you can configure a lot more. And obviously, once again, this is a trim level issue. Um, but I almost wish they just didn't have a screen in here and just put it all in the actual infotainment system. Um, I don't know. It's it's a gripe. It's annoying as hell, but here we are, and we're, we're making good with what we have. All right, y'all, so that is going to do it for another episode of Gearbox. If you have any more questions on the 2019 Ford F-150 XLT, drop them down below. Overall, this truck is awesome. Um, obviously, with the trends on YouTube and stuff, making the five things I love, five things I hate, um, you know, is, is a thing. Um, but ultimately, I do love this truck. I think it is super sharp. It is a very capable truck, but it is still, you know, still has some annoying bits and pieces in there. So I figured I would share my distaste with you guys. Um, as always, if you like the video, please leave a big fat thumbs up, drop some comments down below, be active in the comments section, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know the drill, and until next time, peace.